Hi! In this video I will explain you the theory of the required elements in single rope. So if you do a single rope routine you will be scored on the difficulty and you will get um, a ranking for that one and you will be scored on creativity and you will get a ranking for that one. Creativity consists of two parts, the presentation part and the required elements. Required elements are 30% of your creativity score and the presentation is 70%. So now I will explain you the 30% of the creativity score which are the required elements. So basically that's what it says. You have to do them in order to get those 30%. So what are the skills or what are the combinations that you have to do to get this maximum of 30%? We have... First of all some skills, some typical skills that you have to do. For instance, you have to do an, um, an amount of power skills. You have to do some releases. You will have to do some uh, multiples. You will have to do etc. Next to that, there are also some sets of skills you will have to do. For instance, you will have to do a series of multiples. So not just one multiple, but at least four multiples. Or you have to do a series of crosses. For instance, you have to do four crosses in a row. Or you have to do a series of backwards jumps. So you have to jump backwards for at least four, uh, and you have to do at least four skills backwards. So there are two differences, and they will also be judged by two different judges. So the first judge judges required elements, but basically only these ones. The ones that you see here. You have, first of all, first of all, they have to judge reps. So you have to do, in your routine, three different reps. So a rep where you wrap around your arm, for instance, or around your leg, at whatever. That are reps. You can do them forwards, you can do them backwards, you can do them in multiples, and so on. Those are all different reps. So this judge, the required element judge, who judges just the reps, the gymnastics, the powers and the releases, every time when this judge sees a rep, he writes the letter W. That's all. Every time when he sees a gymnastic skill, he will write down on the paper a G for gymnastics or whatever, so every time there is a gymnastic skill, gymnastic skill can be a roll, a round off, a cartwheel, a suicide, a front flip, a back flip, a keep, etc, etc. All of those are gymnastic skills, okay? You will be able to get three points if you do the three different reps and four points if you do the four different gymnastics. Different power moves. You also have to do some power moves in total if you want to get the maximum of the points. What is a power move? A frog where you stand on your hands, a push-up where you stand on both hands and, and, your, uh, and your feet, a split, a body bounce, a crab, etc. etc. All those kind of things are power skills. Watch out! Six different power skills. It does not mean that you have to do a push-up and a split and a body bounce and a crab and a I don't know what. There are not so many different, really different power skills. But for instance, going from a TS, where you cross behind your legs, into a split is a power skill. But going from an AS into a split, that's another power skill. Okay, so you can in principle do six splits in your routine, but you go from a TS to a split, from an AS to a split, a double under split, etc., etc. So it's not really different in the sense that the power skill itself is different, but the going to or coming out has to be different. Another uh, thing that is important, if you do a kamikaze, for instance, you go to a push-up from this push-up, you go to another push-up, but you pull your rope under your body and then you come out. These are two power skills. You have the regular push-up and the kamikaze. So you see, six power skills, it, it might seem a lot, but it's not that much. Also you have to do three releases where you get let go of a handle and you catch the handle again. One of them has to be what we call a level.